and thanks for your time. Cheers. This is one of the few cit cities we get to visit twice a year. What's it like coming back at the different times of year? Um, it's different every single time. Uh, Paris is Paris, and it's always a pleasure to come back uh, this, this time. Uh, in this year playing uh, Bercy and uh, it's always a joy to come back here. Uh, one of the best uh, stadiums that we have on the tour. Uh, French crowd is always into tennis, into uh, great matches and uh, you know it's uh, end of the season, end of the regular season so uh, everyone is sort of uh, one part excited. There's some guys if they are tired feeling uh, happy to, to be finished with the season and uh, you know usually in the years uh, there were always some upsets in this tournament but uh, you know it's uh, definitely going to be another entertaining week. Things have maybe been a bit tough you since the US Open so how important is a strong finish to the end of the season? Well extremely important uh, you know playing these uh, big tournaments it's always a challenge uh, you're confronting the best guys in the world and uh, it's also a part where you have to challenge yourself and just looking at possibilities of going deep in the tournament can change the, the whole the autumn uh, swing of the tournaments uh, if playing well and uh, always for me it is uh, very important to play well in these kind of tournaments and uh, I'm hoping to, to play well here and to finish this regular season uh, on a high note. Indoor competitions have always been uh, good for you. What's the secret to success? Um, just uh, the conditions uh, indoors are always the same. Uh, there is no wind, no, no external factors that play the, the things in the match. Uh, I feel the, the court speed usually plays a little bit quicker than usual. Uh, that su suits my game, suits my service. And uh, I've been playing well in these uh, recent years uh, on, in indoors and, uh, you know, uh, I feel always comfortable uh, having uh, even the, that big game that I can possess a threat against uh, the guys and, uh, you know, it's uh, also a part that I have to do it well week after week. Um, you touched on it earlier that this tournament has thrown up lots of different winners. Why do you think that is? Um, it's it's difficult to say, but uh, you know, just considering it's the end of the season, um, you know, maybe some guys are uh, peaking for this kind of a week. Um, you know, French guys are always playing well here in, in front of their home crowds. Uh, some guys are uh, enjoying the atmosphere to play indoors as well. You know, there are many factors that play the role, but uh, I feel that uh, in some situations the the fatigue gets into the players and some. Some years, like uh, when we had uh, Janovic coming through uh, from qualies to the finals, was was an outstanding year for players that are out of the main draw, that are a little bit lower ranked, and uh, you know those kind of situations do happen. And uh, even similarly, like last year where Jack uh, qualified over here, so you know a lot of things are happening, and it's always a is a pleasure to be a part of it. Um, I was going to ask you actually, how how big an achievement was that for Jack winning this last year? Um, I would say incredible considering that he was uh, in the first round almost out of it against uh, Kyle in, in his uh, first round match. Uh, I don't know if Kyle had any match points but he was 5-1 down in the third set so just uh, thinking about that and after that winning the, the tournament and uh, going to the semis of the London tournament was was incredible achievement but still he, he possesses great game, uh, great abilities to play great and uh, you know with uh, sort of small openings like that uh, you know your fortune uh, can change quickly.